Hello, my name is Sean Sands from Gamers with Jobs. Back with more Kerbal Space Program and welcome. We have got work to get down to today. That music was very distracting this time for some reason. Not sure why. Um, so when we left off last time, I was sort of stranded in a lunar orbit. Um, I did eventually uh, send back a resupply ship. Uh, and I did also land on the moon, um, and I did most of these are a different mission here. Uh, recovered, I did a bunch of landings in a couple of craters and brought back some science. Uh, docked a couple of times with the, uh, the lunar space station. Uh, we're down to, we used up quite a bit of fuel um, throughout that mission uh, out of the space station. So, you know, um, this tank's now empty, these are empty. I used... Uh, some of the monopropellant this tank is empty empty mostly empty um so we we kind of we kind of uh ransacked the um the lunar space station a good bit um it's fine we're almost done with this mission anyway i don't even know if they still have much in the way of science to do to really really don't i really need to bring them on back uh hendo and lobus uh but that's that's for another time uh, I think what we want to go ahead and do now is our Duna mission. Um, we have a bunch of science that we got as a result of the um, mission that we ran. So we got to find some stuff to do with that. And what do we want? kind of want to get this, like we had talked about before. I want to go ahead and get the uh, gravioli detector. Um, could take a thing to do some drilling on on Duna's surface. Uh, I don't know that that's absolutely necessary. Because, uh, right, as I understand it, Convertitron, global processing plant can take raw materials containing even trace amounts of oxygen and crack them into useful fuel products. Um, so this is an interesting idea. Is I've never done drilling before. Can you make a lander? It's four tons, though. Good lord, that's ridiculous. Um, just setting up the drilling unit would be, I think, prohibitively expensive. I do want the gravioli detector, though. Uh, that leaves us with a thousand here. We could grab high performance uh, fuel systems. Uh, and I kind of am tempted to go ahead and do this. Um, Give us the really uh, super big fuel tanks, which I don't mind doing. What else do we want? Do we want the OT, OKTO2? Kind of do. Uh, I'm not in a huge rush to do, um, you know, to do uh, a rover. Just, I'm, I might, I might, I might. To mate, that's a hard maybe. So yeah, let's grab these. What else are we going to want up toward the top here? Hypersonic flight. We still haven't done the uh, um, any planes. Ion propulsions. Kind of an interesting idea. Get the ion drive. Um, super advanced tech. Could grab that, right? How much does the, the thrust is next to nothing? I think that would be really boring, waiting for that thing to spool up reasonably. All right, let's grab these. And let's grab the unmanned tech so that we can do the Provodovodyne OKTO2. OK Talk to me, what's automation? Not sure I care about that. Super cool batteries cool um but we gotta get this anyway right for those and that's gonna do it uh how do we want to do this so what do we want to actually do here first of all do we have any more Duna stuff um eve science data from surface of duna that is exactly the thing we want okay so i guess we want a lander and i mean i guess that's what we need to start with um how many people are we landing on Duna? Well, I want at least a scientist and an engineer. I want the engineer because they're going to need to repack up the uh, parachutes that we'll use. Um, 
We could do this. But then we have to take back off with this big ugly. Um, I don't know. I know, I know, I forget who it was, but somebody really wants me to use these, and we will. I promise we'll get around to using the, uh, the, the weird pomegranate, uh, modules, um, eventually. <laughs> uh, so this is going to be the lander. What all do we need on here? Well, I mean, obviously we need some parachutes, right? Gonna need some drogue shoots. And a lot of this episode may be trying to build our vehicle. Um, can we go ahead and toss one of these up top? We're definitely going to want to take science with us to the surface. So I think that's critical too. And we will pop some science in there. This thing's going to be kind of heavy. Um, we are going to be taking a scientist, so we can do a, a we can reset these experiments uh, as we want. Um, I'm gonna set this right like this and then we're gonna move it around. There we go. You go right there and you're not peeking out the side, good. Uh, will that get in the way? Let me put it on the back side over here. I assume the doors would just open and clip through it, but just in case they don't. Uh, a seismometer, a gravioli detector, uh, Atmospheric reader, reader, yeah, uh, barometer. So, hmm, I had a thought, and I'll come back to it in a second. And a temperature gauge, and we'll do our science there. So my thought is, do I actually want to send two vehicles to do them? Uh, here's my thought there. Um, I might also want to send a separate small uh, launch vehicle with the uh, survey scanner, um, which just, I mean, for one, it gives us some stuff. It gives us a better readout of Duna itself. Um, but it'll also unlock the opportunity for us to um, do some drilling if we feel like we need to. I'll think about that. I'm not. I'm not sure yet. Um, we can always take the surface scanning module too. We are going to need Kerbal Engineer, as always, and. That is it, right? I mean, we need to set up the actual lander and we will need, just to be sure, we are going to want a, uh, a legitimate um, what do you call these things? Ladder, that's what you call these things. Uh, let's rotate you. Actually, let's move you out a bit. And we're going to rotate you a bit. Then we're probably going to need to move you back in a bit. And show me what that looks like extended. Okay, good. I'm going to leave that for like that for now so that we can see. Um, yeah, just so that we can see. We are going to need also an actual vehicle to land with. No, too small. Too big. <laughs> just right? Yes, just right. And what I'm thinking of doing is 
a couple of laterally mounted, um, what do you call those things? Uh, um, in which case we wouldn't need these. Uh, the, in, the nerve, you know, the radiation engines. Why can't I come up with this? Uh, where are they? You know, uh, yeah, atomic rockets. That's, those are the words I was looking for. How would we want to build that then? Those aren't heavy, right? Well, no, they're definitely not heavy. Um, hmm. Working on an idea here may or may not work uh, so we'll need yep straight up liquid fuel but that's not big enough we don't want here we go I'm thinking, I know, I know this is it's going to be a little bit slow going here as I try and work this out. Maybe actually what we want is to put, just to reverse these and put these up here, put that like that there. That's 2,486 delta V. What is it on tuna? So it's got a thrust, to, an appro a good enough thrust to weight ratio. Oh, come on. Uh, what I actually wanted to do is kind of move these in a bit, so they're not quite so, so jutting. We're not going to detach them at all, are we? We're actually landing back on curb, and is this what we want to be landing in? Let's think about that for a second. So maybe something like this, even? Maybe. Why is that not showing us any delta V anymore? Oh, I see. All right, so we're looking at about 2400 delta V there. That should be enough to get off. I think I read that getting into orbit from Duna is about um, 14 to 1700, somewhere in that area. Let's assume I'm doing it. So it's at least 2,000. <laughs> uh, in which case, we still need a... We're going to have to pull this back off, actually, because we need a... I still I think we will have an orbiter. How will we re-engage that? Okay, so we're going to have to turn this into a... Okay, I'm working on it. I'm getting there. Um, we are going to want a docking clamp, and we're going to want lander legs. And we want some beefy landing legs. Um, can I please have landing legs? There we go. 
Yep, yep. Have I covered up my exit? No. Okay. Let's actually move those up a bit. Good. Okay. All right. Is that work as a Luna lander? <laughs> Duna lander. Damn, I, I messed it up. Hang on. Let me try that again. Does that work as a tuna lander? <laughs> it's still dumb. Uh, it's going to need a heat shield. Yep. I do have a question about whether these are going to, like, what what does Duna's atmosphere do to something like this? I don't even know. Uh, can we make this into a action group? Not an action group. I want to make this into a, oh, I forgot the word for it again. A subassembly. I don't want to add a category. Can we drag this in here? I just threw the whole thing. Oh, oh. Is there a control Z? Thank God. Uh, Subassembly drop zone. Uh, selected part is not attachable. Um, does that mean I need a, might need a root part? Different root part, maybe? Um, so we'll put this up here, and then we will reroute to that, and we will go back to sub-assemblies. No, I went. Okay, so this is the root part. No. Please reroute that to that. Good. Now, can I drop that into, uh, yeah, there we go, Duna Lander. Okay. Now, let's start over. Uh, and we'll save this as Duna Lander as well, actually. I don't have them connected. <clears throat> You're so difficult, Cam. Click. There we go. Now it's not. That is a Duna Lander. All right. Now, I want to take all this stuff off. Now tell me about the sub-assemblies again. Can I bring that back now? Like that. That is gonna be, ooh, that's a heavy thing. Well, let's go ahead and retract this. Do we need all this? Or can we actually just Can we actually do like we were just literally talking about when just go with a, um, a probe core? It's like the main vehicle. So let's reroute this to this. Let's get rid of this. All right, what is the probe core need? Let's assume we're going to keep everybody in here and the probe's job, probe core's job is to get us to Duna. 
and maybe get us on the way home. What do we need to make that happen? Um, well, all our science is up here. So this is mostly just about launch and then still being there in orbit. So we know we want a, a docking port, right? Can we house the probe core inside a, yeah. Let's house the probe core inside a service bay. Can we do that? How do we do that? Let's connect this all back together. Put you here. There's a reason. I'm going to temporarily reroute that to that. Now let's reroute it again. Hmm. Will this be all inverted if I do it like this? I mean, can I do... Well, I can just actually just take this off the bottom, right? Still need a another because that's not sitting right, is it? I could have just done that, couldn't I? Ah, nice. Uh, let's flip that around. There we go. Okay. Close that. I just want, I don't want it like to dock directly against the probe core. Um, and then we will need some more structural elements. Uh, mostly, we gotta think about batteries now. We gotta think about power. We haven't thought about that at all yet. So I'm gonna hide a battery in here. Good. I'm gonna hide a battery also down here in this one. Probably do it on the other side to try and balance things out a little bit. Uh, good. Couple of Voltaic panels. Turn that back on. And I'm going to do some just regular panels on this one because I'm a little worried about trying to get out of the vehicle and breaking the panels. give us something to work with. I don't even know if we'll need that or not, but we might. All right. So none of that gets us up there and we've already got 16, 17 tons worth of vehicle here. Uh, we do also need a um, fairing. We need a fairing. 
we put right down here. That's going to be a giant beast of a fairing. Oh, just barely. There we go. Okay. All right. Well, we made it all fit, so that's good. That's something. Let's pull these down here. Okay. We need a command and control. Because I do primarily plan on launching with the um, the uh, probe core. Oh, do I need RCS in this thing? I'm going to need some, aren't I? Damn. Yeah, if we're going to reconnect, we have to have RCS on it. So we'll put that over here for a second. And we'll get some RCS. Need the 2.5. Nope. That one, and then gonna have to go on top, buddy. Uh, come on. Does this not have... A, come on. This isn't that hard. Okay, you go here. What are you doing? Obviously not. Obviously not. Uh, maybe we don't actually... It does make me think of a thing, though. If I can just get you to connect up. It does not like this, does it? Uh, let me leave and come back. Uh, come on. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Darn it, rats. Uh, let's get the sub assembly again. Maybe it's cause of the fairing that I can't. Let's pull the fairing out for a second. Can I have some RCS? Please, right there. Here we go. And you come back and be on top. Be on top. Be on top. You're a real pain in the butt. You know that? Maybe we don't need these things then. Just use the RCS. Can this please go on top? Holy crap. Uh, maybe turn that off. It's not... What if we did it the other way? What is it with this thing? <sighs> Alright, let's open the sub-assembly. Um, Dooner Launcher Core. Um, Q. 
cancel. No. Give me the sub assembly. If I do it from the bottom, will you connect up right? And then I can resave it as a sub assembly, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Okay, that that works. And now we do want to go ahead and put the um RCS on there. And give me a new core. Reroute to you. And then change the sub assembly back. <laughs> uh, everything went away. All right, one more time. Uh, no, don't save. Bring this in. Drop this down. Pop this on. Pop that on. Pop the RCS on. We're going to rename this Duna Lander. Yep, we're going to overwrite that. And then we're going to put a new core on. We're going to get there, you guys gonna get there. Reroute to reroute. This is one of the reasons a long time ago I'm like, are you guys sure you want me to, <laughs> want me to record this stuff? This part of the... Drop it. And we will call this one the Duna Lander. And yes, we want to overwrite. Okay, good. Uh, we're gonna open. Don't save. Duna Lander Core. Load that. And we will pull out the sub assembly now. Flip it. Good. So now we have the RCS on there. Okay. Back to work. Uh, payload. So now I'm going to put this back on. I'm going to stretch it out. Oof. That is snug. Good. And we'll put the command and control back on. And we will bring this up way, way up because now we actually have to figure out how to get this to do now. I assume the plan is this will be enough, hopefully, to land us, take back off from Duna, and get us, if not all the way, at least part of the way home. But maybe not. I don't know. Um, okay, so launching this beast, this Goliath. Uh, let's have a larger upper stage, obviously. Okay. And we will put an engine on this, which is probably going to be... Not the Rhino. The one that's pretty good in space. 345. I think it's this one, right? Yeah. 412. Gives us 1,824 Delta V in this. Um, let's bring it back to Carbon. And it's, it's larger than that, I think, right? Because this won't be actually on Carbon. It'll be in... Uh, a, yeah, it won't be... I don't know. There's lots. There's a good amount of Delta V in this, right? Yeah, 1,824. 
I assume that's total delta V in a vacuum. Uh, then we're going to need another decoupler. Then I think we're going to start building up and out and bigger. Uh, so where are some of those? Nope. Thought I saw that we got new. Yeah, okay, good. Where are our big beefy ones? This is one of the new ones we got. Oof, that is a big old boy, isn't it? Um, and we don't have that size adapter yet, I don't think. to 0 0.05. I don't think so. So we may just have to have a, a kind of a, a gap there. Because I do want to, I think we're going to, this is going to be a monster. Uh, oh, maybe this? There you go. Alright. This is also its own stage. Uh, this will have one of the rhinos on it. Rhinos are too, too small. Um, that's funny that the rhinos are too small. The wolfhounds are also small, relatively speaking. I think we will just put a rhino on this thing. Good. So now we have a total of 6,200 delta V in the tank. And that should be, the, the goal is to have that stage be where we finish circularizing um, and uh, our final ascent stage. So the idea is if we end and we're in orbit with this stage, then that's I'm okay with that. And this can be the stage that gets us to Duna, gets our orbit, and maybe even gets us a little bit of the way back. Uh, and then finally, the kind of main ascent stage. Oops. I don't love that. Probably we'll put some struts there. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, and then maybe one of these things. Too much. There we go. And we'll put some engines down there. This is going to be an expensive ship. Uh, some mastodons, maybe. Good. What does that give us? 7,600 delta V. Uh, First stage has a thrust to weight ratio of 1.55. We'll put some additional God, I love how much we're spending. I'm gonna spend like 10% of our total allocated budget on this thing. I don't feel like those are on nicely. There we go. Are those going to clip into... Fuel on there. A couple of mainsails, is that enough to get moving? It only gives us 
0.72 thrust to weight ratio. So that's not enough gas in the tank, so to speak. Those are too big. Those are ridiculous. Let's be realistic here. Maybe a couple of the, eh, those are too small. Everything looks small compared to that though. Nope, those are the same, same size. God, everything really does look small compared to those. Okay, we're gonna do a couple of these, I guess. And probably put a couple of mainsails on there. Nope. Nope. These? Yeah, these. No! Had them a moment ago. These? Those. Those are going to have to slide down quite a bit. I guess I'll just have to grab them and put them down. They like to sort of... I don't even know what that was. And then we will need fuel lines. Puts 8200 Delta V into the overall thing. Now, that's not including the lander, right? I don't think that lander is included in all that because it's its own separate thing. Maybe. You know what? No, no. Those are the fuel tanks for those. What stage is this? Stage one. So, no, it's not counting stage one because it's counting, as I understand it. And these are going to need to go in here. It's only 0.93 thrust to weight. Can we put one more engine underneath? Something to give it a little extra boost right there. That puts us at 1.25. Down to 7,700 Delta V. Do I need solid rocket boosters? Do I need solid rocket boosters? Or is that enough? We're gonna spend 4,000 roughly getting into orbit. Yeah, I'm going to put some boosters on just for fun. Spare no expense. John Hammond. Knew I'd get that one in eventually. Uh, so these are just to help sort of boost this stage. That goes there. So that gives us 1.37 Delta V. Or, I could do like an asparagus thing. Which goes here to here instead. Those get detached. When do these get detached? Those need to be detached there, right? It's 8,500, that's better. Um, that's weird. There we go. Good. So let's get those fuel ducts a little tighter. So everything launches at once, then those go, then those go. I realize we still got like a lot of work to do as far as struts and stuff like that. Um, here, here. And yeah, that first stage is next to nothing, but it's okay. It's all right. Uh, we do have electrical. We do need RCS. 
Where's our center of mass? There. And let's put some RCS down here. And some up here. We're going to need some separatrons. Separatrons are, that's the second stage of them, right? Let's double check that. Those, those, and those. Good. Put some separatrons over here. Now these go down here. Right? Those, those. Those, 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 yes. Those, 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 yes. Okay, good. Ish, good ish. Can I strut this up? Good. I think I did figure out how to do the internal struts. So, auto strut, auto strut, auto strut. Auto strut, auto strut. Uh, we need some struts from here to here. And from here to here, we need some wings because that's what's going to make all the difference <laughs> for our control. That's where we're going to get it. Uh, like right there. Is that enough battery? Do I just want, I mean. Just to be sure. Let's see. Let's close those back up. We have power cells there, or we have power generation there. Oh, I didn't put the power, the panels back on here. Okay, how are we feeling? I honestly don't know. Auto strut, auto strut. What have we forgotten? Okay, this is still going to, this is the only one that needs parachutes because in both cases, it's the one landing. Do I need more parachutes? And maybe here, because that's a lot to try and land. Well, it's really not, because we aren't going to be landing with the... One, two, one, two. What is that? Oh, do I not have a drogue shoot? On two-time symmetry? Yeah, it should be. That should be its own thing. And that should also be its own thing. And that takes us up, yeah. So that does take us up to 9,800 Delta V. So now it is registering that amount. It wasn't registering because it was on the same stage as the decoupler for it, which would be 
provably bad. Um, structural, we need our stability enhancers. This is a bad looking. Yeah, up there. That's exactly where I wanted them. Game, that's a pretty good idea. Huh. And we're going to rename this to Duna Dyna. Duna Explorer. Duna the Ex. No, oh, that's what it's called. Duna the Explorer. <laughs> um, that is, that's a weird ship. But aren't they all? Like, that's just my MO. It's a lot. I mean, it's just a heavy old beast, but it's got a lot of gas in the tank. And it should get us to... Who do we want in there? Do I want to take Jeb? Yeah, I'm going to take Jeb. Let's take our A-team. Jeb, Bob, and Bill. They should be the ones to get to go to Duna, right? I'm finally willing to risk them. And we'll save. And we'll exit. Uh, and we will... Dash forward to our one year, 37 day time frame. So, oop, 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 oop. oh, you know what? I can't. I'm going to have to do that from the tracking station because that is hard to watch. No, I can't. Um, I'm going to need to look at it here. It's just going to be kind of weird. Uh, so, one year, 20 days. Uh, I. If you have epilepsy, just don't look at the screen for like 30 seconds because <laughs> or longer because that's 400 days left. Uh, 370 days. You know what? I think we're going to call this episode. I realize it was just a building things episode. So if that's not, you know, you got to build stuff, right? could have built it on my own but i asked and you guys said you wanted to see the building of stuff um and this will give you an opportunity to tell me about all the things i did wrong uh that i might not have think, thought of so if you saw an obvious flaw in our planned duna mission now is your chance to let me know uh anyway until next time as always my name is sean sands from gamers with jobs thank you for joining us for a very expensive episode of kerbal space program and we will see you again real soon